the United States has played down Israel's assault on Rafah, but also voiced its concerns over the operation. The Israeli military seized control of the Gaza Strip side of the Rafah border crossing with Egypt on Tuesday. State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller has said that the Israel's Rafah operation appears to be a limited one as it only targeted the Rafah border crossing gate. At the same time, Miller also said it is no secret that Israel wants to conduct a major military operation in Rafah. Reiterating the U.S.'s stance on the issue, he said that it continues to oppose a major operation in Rafah. The U.S. has also said that it hasn't seen any proper evacuation plans from Israel for more than one million people seeking refuge in Rafah. Miller said that the ev evacuees must have access to sufficient housing, food, water, and sanitation. Rafah is a strategically important city located in the southern part of the Gaza Strip. When the northern part of Gaza was being heavily bombed by Israel, about 1.5 million Gazans had sought refuge in the area. It is the only Gaza border crossing not run by Israel and serves as a lifeline to the outside world for Gazans. It facilitates delivery of aid to the enclave and also serves as, a, as an evacuation point for people injured in Gaza. The injured can only escape through Rafah. And with famine imminent in Gaza, Rafah will play a key role. A full-fledged Rafah invasion by the Israeli army is yet to begin, and if it does begin, experts have said that it could lead to a bloodbath as Israel reportedly doesn't have a proper evacuation plan in place for the 1.5 million living in Rafah.